Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another day of Amy All April. Today I have a first impression for y'all that I am so excited about. We're gonna be testing out the new Glaminatrix Cosmetics U Beauty eyeshadow palette. This color story is just beautiful. The swatches were absolutely stunning. They did send this over to me in PR. Um, but given my experience with Glaminatrix in the past and knowing how good their shadows are and seeing the swatches, I would have 100% purchased this myself because it is just so pretty. So here's what it looks like. You've probably already seen it at this point because mine accidentally got sent to my old address. So I had to have my parents send it to me and my new address. And at first my dad was like, you don't want me to just wait and bring it to you this summer? I'm like, um, no, can you please ship it to me? I need to dry this palette. I cannot wait two months. But luckily it is here now. It arrived in perfect condition and it is stunning. This palette does retail for, I believe it's around like 72 US dollars. So it is a pretty penny. But again, just to keep in mind that it is coming from Australia and in general, makeup that you're buying from Australia does normally cost a little bit more. It's also all handmade shadows from an indie brand. So for me, if it's amazing quality, I could see it being worth it. But I know for some people, even if this was the best palette to ever exist, it's not worth it. So it is what it is. But either way, I'm just gonna test it out today and have fun with it. It looks like there are two different multi-chromes. From what I understand, I think that this shade right here and this shade are both multi-chromes. We're gonna go ahead and jump on into some swatches, which are gonna be extra fun because the names in this palette are all Australian slang and there's a little card that came with it as well and it has the explanation for all the terms so I figure we'll <laughs> we'll uh, go through it. I had someone message me on Instagram today and request that I put on my best Australian accent for this. <clears throat> let, me, let me get in, in character. Aussie, put some room in your do. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. And then of course we're gonna do an eye look, so let's just go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so the first shade in here is called Straya. <laughs> Straya? Australia. Straya. Straya. Which is a slang term for Australia, and it looks like a really beautiful soft blue shade. And it has like a slight hint of... I don't know, I wanna say like a greeny golden shift going on in it, super, super pretty. We have the shade Bloody Oath. Bloody Oath. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. If anyone wants to unsubscribe, now's the time. Which is an expression of agreement. You can say, man, it's a hot day. Bloody Oath it is. <laughs> Which this shade looks really pretty. It's kind of like a muted, like gray but with green undertones. I feel like that reminds me of another eyeshadow from somewhere, but I just can't remember where. Okay, next we have the shade Chalkers, which looks like, oh y'all. Oh my goodness, you're not ready. Look at that lavender, so metallic. Oh, that's so pretty, okay. Chalkers means completely full. Example, we can't fit any more stubbles which is the word for beer, okay, in the fridge, it's chalkers. All right. Okay, that matte's uh, showing up a little bit paler than I thought it was going to, but the shimmers are really pretty. I feel like they're swatching better on my fingers than on my arm, but still beautiful nonetheless. Next we have the shade Stitch Up, which is a kind of like mid-tone warm brown. And I saw that Glaminatrix actually took some feedback on that shade, I believe, that if you are buying this, that you there's an, actually an option when you're checking out to switch it with a different deeper brown that they already have in their collection, which I think is really nice that they took the feedback and immediately made it more inclusive instead of just being like, oh, well, like, think about it for next time. Stitch Up is a situation where you didn't expect to be Disadvantaged, okay. So that is like super powdery. I mean, just like even just putting my finger in, it's like there's a bunch of kick up. So just keep that in mind. And then next we have the shade Fair Dinkum. Okay, which again, this one feels really, really soft and it's a really nice kind of navy blue. And that means to mean that something is truthful, not kidding. It can also be an expression that could be used instead of seriously. Did you know that saltwater crocs, crocodiles, <laughs> can hold their breath for two hours? 
fair dinkum? <laughs> I feel like that doesn't even sound real. Next we have the shade Old Mate, which, oh my, oh wow, okay, yes. I see that this is a multi-chrome. That is stunning, okay. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it right there. So this is a mixture of yellow, green, and then it has like a blue base. Super, super pretty. The texture feels really nice on that. It kind of reminds me of a Cleona stained glass shadow. So I'm excited about it, and if the multi-chromes are, that are in here, the two, are amazing, that just makes this palette even more worth it, because multi-chromes are definitely more expensive. Old mate is an expression used to refer to literally anyone. This can be especially handy if you forgot someone's name. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is so pretty. It reminds me of my favorite shade, Corrosion, from Cleona, but it almost looks even more intense. Next we have a like soft, kind of like mm, purpley gray matte shade. Looks really pretty. She'll, and it's called She'll Be Right, which means it'll be okay. It's a sympathetic Aussie reassurance. Next we have Budgie Smugglers, which are like Speedos, I want to say. I've watched Love Island. It's a tight-fitting Speedo style men's swimwear. Budgie smugglers. And then we have the shade Whoop Whoop, which looks like a really beautiful yellow with kind of, it looks like maybe like a light blue shift to it. So I will say that these two feel similar in texture where they're like a metallic, but they're a little bit more chunky. And then Chalkers was super smooth and not quite as chunky, just to kind of give you an idea of the formula and everything. Oops, I think I accidentally got some red in that swatch, but that yellow looks really pretty. I've talked about it before that I feel like light yellow shades are underrated. And Whoop Whoop is a location out of your local area, more particularly a rural town or district far from the city. Hey, where do Glaminature's Cosmetics make their products? Some place out Whoop Whoop. <laughs> Oh god, that's funny. <laughs> I actually grew up in the whoop whoop. <laughs> Last three shades, we have a mustardy kind of yellow matte here called Struth, which looks really nice, and that is used as an exclamation. Struth, mate, you're a flaming gala? I feel like I'm gonna need some more translations. Okay, next we have the shade Flaming Gala. Oh, wait, wait, okay, there it is. Flaming Gala is someone who is a bit of a fool. Oh wait. Oh, how did I not even realize, y'all? I think that's a multi-chrome too, okay? That's an like iridescent multi-chrome. It has a green and a pink shift. And then I can also see gold as well. That is super pretty. I don't know how I forgot that was in the palette because that's like my kind of shade. Okay, I'm very excited about that. And then last but not least, we have Good Day, <laughs> which, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, this one is a little bit more chunky, flaky feeling, but do you see that? You see the shift there? Wow, that is so pretty. It's like gold, orange, green, and obviously Good Day <laughs> means good day. <laughs> Okay, wow, okay, so this one, the texture is different than this one. This one's definitely chunkier, but I am honestly super impressed by the swatches. I feel like the textures in here are so beautiful. The mattes feel a little bit random because it's very much like you've got a red, a yellow, a blue, like primary colors, and then a brown, but I just think like overall it looks so, so beautiful. Off the top of my head, I can't think of dupes for Good Day or Flaming Gala right now, but I just wanted to show you what Corrosion looks like next to Old Mate. So here is Old Mate and here is Corrosion. The shift is very similar. I think Old Mate is just a little bit deeper and Corrosion might be just a touch sparklier. So here's Old Mate and here's Corrosion. You can kind of see the shift there. So not dupes, but very similar vibes.
I think maybe today I'm gonna stick mostly to this side of the palette, but I definitely wanna do more looks in the future. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade Truth. I'm gonna start that off on the inner, like third of my crease, just lightly blending it out, but I don't wanna bring it in too far because I have a plan. <laughs> And then I'm building it up just a little bit, but mostly focusing on keeping it nice and soft. And then I'm also going to pop that shade on the inner third of my lower lash line, just matching. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Bloody Oath, and I'm going to pop that on the rest of my crease. Not gonna worry about blending it into the yellow to begin with, just mostly focusing on building it up. It is pretty light though. Gosh, there is something, there is some palette out there that has this exact kind of shade and I don't know why I can't remember what it is, but it's bothering me so much. And then once I kind of get it built up to what I like, I'm going to just very, very gently blend right here but I don't wanna to do too much again. And then again, just matching the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on the middle, leaving a little bit of room for one more shade. Now I'm gonna go into the deeper blue. I'm gonna be pretty careful with this because it seems very pigmented, and I'm gonna pop that in my outer V. Just lightly buffing it out, but it's blending pretty easily. And then I'm just gonna kind of build up until I have my desired level of depth. Definitely making sure to tap off the excess with this shade. I really like how that's looking. I feel like it blended super easily. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that as well. You know the drill, pop it on the lower lash line. Now is the extra fun part because we get to start playing with the shimmers. I'm gonna start with the shade Whoop Whoop and I'm gonna use that on my inner corner. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm kind of tempted to bring this shade onto the lid a little bit as well. Just kind of where the yellow is. Because I'm going to go into the blue next, but I don't want to pull it down too much and mess up the yellow crease. I'm going to go ahead and take a touch of the shade Straya. One does not want to pick up as much with my brush. But we're going to try. I'm just going to pop that on the center of the lid. I kind of want to go with my finger just because I feel like that might work a little bit better. Let's see. Oh yeah. It could just be the brush that I'm using because I'm using something really dense and the shadow is super dense as well. So I don't know if I need to be using something a little bit fluffier, but I personally do not mind using my fingers at all. I know I get comments sometimes where people say like, oh, if it's that expensive, like you shouldn't have to use your fingers. Um, but just because I use my fingers doesn't mean that that's the only option. I just genuinely like using my fingers. Now I'm going to go into the shade Old Mate with the brush just to see how it picks up. And I'm going to use that on the rest of the lid. Just blending it into the blue and the navy. See, I definitely think that one's building up and it looks nice. I just think that going with my finger, it would be faster. It's definitely a very interesting color story on my eyes. I wanted to do something a little bit different and still be able to use a bunch of shadows today, but I think it looks really, really cool. I'm gonna take the only eye pencil from We Makeup in the shade Malachite Green, and I'm gonna pop that in my waterline. For mascara, I'm gonna go into the Makeup Geek Extension Effect Mascara. So to finish off my face real quick, I'm going to go into the LYS blush in the shade Kindness, which is just a really, really beautiful peachy shade. And then on top of that, I'm going to go into the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Morganite. Just going to do a tiny, tiny little bit. For lips, I'm going to go into the Odin's Eye Cream Lipstick in the shade Love Jasmine. 
All right, so this is the finished look. I really love how the eyes turned out. I think they look really cool, and I just like the color story all around. So just to give you my thoughts so far on the formulas and everything, I do have an inkling that when I get to test this palette out further, I'm going to feel that it is worth the price, just considering the different textures and the multi-chromes and everything that's going on here because it does seem to be overall really good quality. I do feel like this Straya and Whoop Whoop are a little bit of a thicker metallic formula than even some of the shadows that I've had from them already in the past. I think those two are a little bit less creamy, but they still look really nice on the eyes. As far as the mattes go, it does seem like the deeper shades, the deeper blue, the red, the brown, are a little bit softer, a little bit more kick-up-y, and then the lighter shades, the Healy grayy shade, the yellow shade, and then from the swatch, this purpley shade felt a little bit less soft. So with a brush in one of these shades, it would be like dip and that's all you need. Whereas this shade, I felt like I was actually kind of like having to like scrape to really pick up the product. Scrape might be a little bit too dramatic, but I just had to go in a little bit more. So not a big deal. I feel like they still work either way. I just wanted to mention it. And then this shade is just so stunning. I know I gave it a little moment today, but I feel like I need to do that all over the lid with maybe like these two shades in the crease and like without the yellows, I think that would be really stunning as well. So there's a lot of looks I wanna do with this and then obviously this shade I need to play with and the purple is beautiful. The color story is a little bit all over the place, but at the same time, I think there's the possibility to go super bright and creative like I did today, but you could also do more toned down looks. But yeah, I'm excited about it. I think it's really cool that they also really just went in on being an Australian indie brand and using that and making a unique palette with it. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this palette. Did you pick it up? Are you debating on it? Did you decide that it's not the right palette for you? Feel free to leave your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye.